Alright guys, so we are back again, and this time we have Immortal with us. Say hi, Immortal. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. There we go. Alright, so what we're going to do is we have a list here of our top five uh, non-exclusive SSRs. So this does not include any Doken Fest. This also doesn't include free-to-play units as well, and this is only for global. So we're going to just go ahead through our top five, and at the end... Um, we'll show our honorable mentions and you guys just let us know what you think in the comment section. How's that sound? All right, so for number one for me, I have none other than Bergamo and the reason I picked Bergamo, let me get him over here. So the reason I picked Bergamo is because of his absolutely ridiculous defensive abilities and he's not like most units that take time to build up their defense. Um, he does raise his defense over time, but he already has good enough defense to just to just about take on anything from the first attack, basically. Um, he has the Tournament of Power Link skill, so uh, he'll be good on the Universal Survival Saga team. Uh, he's not as good like on the Siblings Bond. He's okay on Giant Form because he does increase uh, key by one extra, I think, for uh, the Giant Form allies. Um, and he doesn't have that great of a leader skill overall, though he is just extreme class key plus 3 HP attack defense 80%, but um, the real meat of him is just going to be that, that passive skill that he gets where he gets attack and defense plus 30% with each attack received up to 300%, which is crazy. And he has a rare chance of turning into a giant form when HP is 80% or less. Uh, his overall stats aren't horrible. Um, and I just think he is a great unit. He's probably one of the best units right now on Global, in my opinion. What do you think? I agree. The uh, Bergamo actually took Global by surprise. Uh, he, when we see the 300% uh, on his passive, once he is fully built with attacking defense, the guy just hits hard, tanks hard, he completely wrecks everything. He only fails, of course, in the link department. And uh, the categories he actually fits in, uh, although they are good, he, besides Tournament of Power, he does not link with anyone else. Of course, in Giant Farming links with Friends Farming Link, but just about it. Still, solid unit, global exclusive, also important to mention. Yes. And yeah, King Bar uh, God Bergamo is there to stay. Yeah, and, and one thing to point out too is if you... Really? Really, dude? Oh my gosh. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, one one thing I'm just I'm just gonna go with it. One thing to point out is that on uh, if you put him on siblings bond, he would be really good with the MVP 17 because uh, the MVP 17 passive. So he would get a little bit more key that way with if you ran that on siblings bond. Um, yeah. Other than that, uh, I don't think I'd run him. Uh, giant form isn't the only time I'd ever use giant form would be on like uh, battlefield or super something. battle world. Yeah, super battle world. I should say. World. Yeah, it's the only time I'd ever use Giant Form anyway, so that's not really as important. But I don't think he's bad on Universal Survival Saga at all, though. But that's uh, yeah, number yeah, one yeah. for me. So what's what's number one for you? My number one pick is actually the Tech Goku. That look is from the Super Saiyan Goku from the Movie Heroes banner uh, back when AGL Super Saiyan Blue Dojeta debuted. Um, I actually like him a lot. He has a super tech leader skill with plus 3 key and 100% to all stats. I use him a lot in uh, Battlefield uh, and uh, generally in uh, in a lot of teams like uh, Siblings Bond, uh, not, not Siblings Bond, sorry, uh, Goku Family. Um, and what I really like about this unit back when it first showed up is he has 100% attack and defense, which makes him a really solid. Uh, he hits hard and tanks decently well. He also is able to seal with his super attack. I mean, by today's standards, it's not that a, uh, important thing, but for people that are starting in Dokkan and uh, are doing early events, sealing is quite an important uh, thing to do. Also, from his passive, he also is able to change key spheres to rainbow orbs, which allows units to actually pick up more orbs, giving them an easier attack to super. Plus, he gains 7% uh, uh, to attack by each Rainbow Orb obtained. It's not much, but it can stack. Also, if you consider the teams you mostly would run him, uh, those teams include like Super Saiyan 3 Goku, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and uh, Vegeta Blue, and many other units. So his link skills with Prepare for Battle and Over in the Flash are excellent for them and for those units that he usually links with. 
besides Super Saiyan Free Goku, uh, gains attack and defense with rainbow units, which this unit actually provides him with. He also becomes a tank uh, when fighting movie bosses with his 77% damage reduction, which is amazing. It makes him only take like uh, double digits of damage. Although he shares him with other Gokus, the only real uh, contender for his place is probably the LR Inc. Godku, which will arrive later on Global, but until then, this one is probably the best option among uh, Godkus. And you can also use his base SSR version. I mean, it's not anything important to talk about, but it's always an option for new players. What do you think, Thomas? Uh, yeah, he's actually a great unit. Um, I've used him for a long time, and I'm going to continue to use him. Uh, even if you do pull uh, God Q when he does come out on Global, this unit is still going to be really good for uh, Ultimate Clash and um, for, for those mono tech teams. Uh, he has a good leader skill for that mono tech team. Um, and like, I, like I've, I've stated before, too, like even when you do uh, get God Q, this unit is still going to be like well, when we do get Goku, I should say, on global, a lot of people aren't going to pull him. So this is still going to be a very viable unit for a long time, in my opinion. So that is your number one. Yeah. What's your next one? So my next unit is going to be the Tech uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. It is the um, nuking one, I should say. Uh, when he gets it, he just got his awakening recently, and he is absolutely ridiculous now. So this unit um, brings the uh, Worthy Rivals category to uh, global, with a category key plus 3, HP attack, defense 120%, which is pretty good for uh, a unit that's not a Doken Fest exclusive. Um, and he also has tech key plus 3, HP attack, defense 90%. And uh, side note, this unit is going to be really good with that God Q that you just talked about. Um, he infinitely raises attack and defense with a super attack, which makes him one of the hardest hitters in the game over time. It'll take a while, but he'll get there. Um, and his attack and defense is plus 20% per key sphere obtained, and an additional attack and defense 10% if it's a tech key sphere. And he also randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to tech. So there's a lot going on there. There's a lot of uh, attack and defense built up over time, and he can actually do really good against uh, the INT uh, UI Goku in that Legendary Goku event. Uh, even though he has type disadvantage, he still um, is really, really good in that. Also, he has the uh, Prepared for Battle, and let's, what else does he have with Crew Key? I want to say that's that's it for Key, honestly. So yeah, he's only got the Prepared for Battle for Key, but he does have like Fierce Battle, um, and a couple others that give you like attack and defense as well, so not bad. Uh, he's on a ton of categories. Um, the ones I'd probably use him on the most, though, would be like, um, movie heroes, Vegeta's family, maybe siblings bond. Um, you could run him on Realm of Grot as well, though. And he's also obviously worthy rabbles as his leader skill. Uh, but overall, this unit is uh, out of nowhere became one of the best units on Global now. So, uh, what do you think? I agree. He is actually another Global exclusive that actually got the token that we can alongside Bergamo. Um, you can actually use him with the unit I mentioned because that Goku can actually fit Goku's family. This one is sibling bonds, which if you have LR Gobros, you can run them both and they actually are a solid combo. Yeah. And the thing to take note is that yes, he has the category worthy rivals and based on the current global, um, this is filmed before the Piccolo banner drops. Uh, since I don't believe many people will pull for Piccolo, this will be your best option to run the category Worthy Rivals. So, yeah, it's actually a nice Doku no Waken that the uh, global had, and will, will, you will really shine now with Piccolo coming up, and many people using him for his leader skills, and using Piccolo as a friend lead for those that end up pulling him. Alright, so for your number two, who do you got? Oh, my number two is actually a really uh, discussable unit because most people will not enjoy it. I actually picked uh, Ribrian, or right. mostly uh, Brienne de Chateau, that actually transforms into Ribrian. She currently does not have her Doku no Waken on Global yet, but I'm pretty sure it will arrive soon enough, and I think it actually deserves a mention here. Reason why, once she Doku no Awakens, 
she gains not one, but actually two category leader skills. Peppy Girls and Transformation Boosts, both at 120%. Like the previous match in Gaku, she also seals with her super attack. And she is, or will be, probably the best Peppy Girls category leader, making the Peppy Girls category team very, very strong. She actually has 120% attack and defense to her passive. She gains plus 10% uh, to attack and defense for Peppy Girl uh, units on the team. And also buffs the Peppy Girl units for 30% and debuffs the enemies for an additional 30% which makes her like uh, technically double the value. She buffs by 40% and debuffs enemies by 40%, which is a lot. She actually has a really solid uh, passive. One yes. thing to take note that many people do not like, but I actually enjoy, is that she performs at the start. I mean, right, it's Ribrian, nobody likes her, but by performing at the start of the battle, she actually gains her max potential early, instead of you having to build up over and over or meeting certain conditions. Some people would prefer to remain in Brienne, but I don't mind, I just want the damage. As for the Link skills, she has Battlefield Diva for the Peppy Gal team, and she has Tremendous Power for the Universe Survival Saga. And if you did not pull a uh, SPR boo, she can also she is also leader for the transformation boost, although in that team she will probably not link very well. But still a very solid unit that most people shouldn't overlook, even though it's a real end that we are talking about. What do you think? Yeah, once you get past what the actual unit looks like and everything, because a lot of people don't like uh, Brian, myself included, but the card itself actually has really good stats. Um, and like you're saying too, like she is the best Pepe Gauss leader, and since there's cards out now like the Kefla, like there's like cards like... Um, LR Kale and Khalifla, like stuff like that, that are also Peppy Gals. She uh, makes that team definitely a lot more usable than it was in the past. So definitely a good unit, even though maybe a lot of people wouldn't want to run her just for who it is, I should say. Yeah, I agree. So what did you pick for your next one? All right, so my number three, I have Gawasu. And the reason I have Gawasu is as follows. So, this Gawasu, I guess it's uh, Gawasu and Zamasu once you get to awaken, but um, when you pull him, it's going to be just be Gawasu. So, it's going to be a Realm of Gods category leader at 120% with key plus 3. Um, and the passive skill is ridiculous because he gives all allies key plus 2 and defense plus 70%. So, it's a really good um, support unit. And she also, or he also, I should say, has a high chance of evading enemies' attack, including super attacks. And if you're going against an extreme class uh, enemy, you get key plus five and attack plus 100%. Um, and on super attack as well, they they do seal um, the enemy, so that's really good. Um, she's or he, I keep saying she because we just talked about Brienne, but this is a he for sure. <laughs> I was said it's got not that great of link skills to be honest with you. Um, I'm not seeing anything that actually even gives key. Uh, Gentleman does, but there's not going to be a lot of units that actually run that. It's like if we just pull this up here real quick. There's nothing that you're really going to be using this with that you're going to get Gentleman. Maybe uh, like a Whis, but um, who's running Whis, honestly? Uh, there's not really any good Whises to, to run. If you're if you're going to do like a Realm of Gods uh, team, then like, you know, you're not running Whis, so... Um, but with that being said, though, this unit overall is a great unit, in my opinion, and something that you should definitely, definitely use if you aren't. Um, if you're using it on, like I said, Realm of Gods, probably number one, but Time Travelers uh, and Future Saga is another two that this unit is really, really good on. Um, so yeah, that is my number, what is this, number three pick? I actually agree with what you said. I always like uh, units that are able to support as well as deal damage. Of course, in this case, it requires the enemy to be extreme class, but either way, it's a really solid unit and uh, people should really, I mean, be happy when they pull them. Yeah, this unit, um, when I first saw him on JP and I just thought, man, I cannot wait for this to come out on Global because I used him for a little bit and I just thought, wow, this is like, he has, um, a high chance of evading the enemy's uh, attack, including supers, and so like that's good. But like when you actually see it in action, like he seems like he he dodges 
way more than he does like get hit. Like when he does get hit, don't get me wrong, he he does take some damage, but um, more times than not, he's gonna dodge every one of his hits. Just don't take him to the last stage of the legendary Goku event. <laughs> yeah. Not be able to dodge him, you will take a lot of damage. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So who you got next? My next unit is a surprise to people that know me from your channel and for yourself also. I picked Gohan, the STR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Yes, I picked the Gohan unit. The reason why is, well, this guy was pretty bad back in the days and Easy Streams The Awakening actually made him a whole different unit. For starters, he has immense damage, which is actually rare for uh, the general pool SSRs. I think only four or five heavy mass damage in a pool of like 200 and um, with his extremes awakened he actually gained the access to the kamehame category leader skill with 100 percent which is actually a very strong category and the only other unit with this leader skill is the lr agl gohan which probably not many people were able to pull and he also has uh, all types P plus three and attack and defense seventy seven percent, which is actually very good for a free to play players that uh, have a, have very few units and need to make a team. And he actually allows for that. Also, his damage with um, uh, greatly raising attack, immense damage, attack and defense seventy seven percent, as well as with his extreme awakened uh, passive, uh, passive I mean uh, stats makes him a really hard hitter. People would be surprised by how hard this unit can hit. Also, if you have a Super Saiyan Goku, which is not hard by today's standards, he gains an extra 59% uh, attack, which even makes it deal more damage. Uh, b besides that, he fits in a lot of categories, like uh, Goku's family, uh, Kamehame, a lot in his leader skill, in his uh, passive skill. I mean, uh, link skill, sorry about that, uh, prepare for battle, allows him to link a lot with a lot of units on this team. My only two complaints regarding him is that, well, it's Gohan, so that's already a reason why I don't like it. And um, for him to reach his match potential, he requires you to do the Extremes Awaken, which is not always available and might not be possible for new players or free-to-play players. Also, I'd like to mention that uh, this unit is actually one of those that you can use for the Extreme Zero Awaken area for those two amazing free to play units that are Goku and Gohan and Vegeta and Trunks. So, yeah, he's a really important unit and uh, he's not old, but I think a lot of people actually uh, do not care much about him. I mean, he does share the name with uh, LR Gohan, but LR Gohan is able to deal a lot more damage, but this one is able to tank, he has utility. So I would probably say that this one is even better than the LR in terms of utility. What do you think, Thomas? Uh, yeah, he's a really strong unit. He hits, like you said, like a truck. And real quick, too, with that Super Saiyan Goku uh, passive that he has there, where he needs one um, to, do, to do more damage and whatnot, you can link that with the uh, the bomb on JP. So when he comes to global, you can you can put that that bomb in there with him, and that's actually a good combo because they both have prepare for battle as well. So that'll yeah, help. Yeah, I forgot about this. So that's that's a good combination there. Um, really, really good unit. So for next pick, my next pick, I have the AGL Broly, and the reason I picked this AGL Broly is because he does ridiculous damage for one. So this unit, he hits like a truck. He has the Pure Saiyans category, key plus three, HP attack and defense, 120%. Once he's Extreme Z Awakened, I should say. And he has also Extreme type, key plus three, HP attack and defense, 100%. Um, his super attack raises attack and defense for three turns, and he causes supreme damage uh, to enemy. Uh, it says supreme damage. And, but I've actually gotten more damage out of him than I have the, that SSJ2 Gohan uh, when I've used him on their proper teams. Um, I've hit for upwards of like 4 million, I think, with this with this card without like any like um, nuking or anything like that, just, just from Link skills and whatnot. Um, 
he uh, raises attack and defense for three turns, like I said, but he also gets a little bit of key on the passive. Every every turn, he uh, gets one key, and attack and defense plus 70%. And he gets an additional 20% with each attack performed, up to 80%, and plus an additional attack plus 20% with each attack received. So whether he's uh, hitting or getting hit, he's going to increase his uh, attack. So he's just going to get stronger and stronger every time. Uh, he has really good uh, links. He's got uh, Fierce Battle, Prepared for Battle, and Shocking Speed are, are three of the best ones, I think. He'll also give you a Saiyan Lineage, so if you're running him on pure Saiyans, he's probably gonna, they're probably going to link with that. So you're going to get another key right there. One key. Um, so yeah, this unit, he hits like a truck. He is a leader for multiple things. You can use him in the Ultimate Clash with the, for Extreme Type Leaders. Uh, for, for the extreme type leader I should say and you can also use them for a pure Saiyans team if you don't have something like the uh, physical Vegeta transforming Vegeta or the um, AGL evolution Vegeta so overall this is actually a really good unit um, the only downside is the uh, extreme Z um, event isn't always out so you'd have to wait for that to come back again but or use keys but this unit is very very strong what do you think I mean, for a unit that uh, actually only has two categories that are movie bosses and Juice Saiyans, he actually is, I would say, probably a top tier unit to have on each of those. With those links, shocking speed and prepare for battle, uh, he links well with almost all the units, and I actually think that his Extreme Z Awaken made him hit harder than um, a lot of Dokkan Fest exclusive units. So, yeah, that's a solid pick. All right, so who do you have for your number four slot? My next one, actually, uh, since we are talking about her now, uh, I said her, so might people some suspect what I'm talking about soon. Since you mentioned Broly, I'm going to mention her. These are two units that I actually consider the ones that set a new tier for the general SSR pool. I'm actually talking about Kefla. Uh, with the, the LR uh, good release she actually seemed to be a little forgotten but i still think she's a solid unit with her 150 percent uh, st uh, stats for the patar category which actually only has another leader that is the lr gogeta which not everyone is fortunate to have so she's a solid pick for that team she also is an orb changer she nukes she dodges and she attacks multiple times so it's a really solid kit for a general pool SSR. She also is the only uh, Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, uh, so she does not share the name with anyone else. And her base SSR version, uh, I mean, it's strong, but it still also does not share the name with anyone and can be run alongside her if you need the units. Just take into consideration that uh, the Dokkan only requires you to obtain keys of any type to get the buff while the base SSR requires it to be f uh, physical uh, orbs. She is also included in multiple categories and like I mentioned previously she can be used in Peppy Gals which makes her alongside Riverian a monstrous duo. If you add LR and Kefla, uh, LR, Kale and Khalifa to the mix it's a really powerful team. Uh, my only problem with Kefla is that well uh, she gains a percentage boost, a uh, 12 percentage boost to attack and defense based on the key spheres you obtain. So if you do not get uh, many key spheres, you will, she won't probably deal that much damage. Which I, I hope it changes in the future once she gets uh, an Extreme Z Awaken. What do you think, Thomas? Well, if she gets an Extreme Z Awakening, it's a whole new ballgame. Because this card already... Uh, first off, if you don't have... The Doken Fest exclusive LR Vegito. This is going to be your only other option for a Patara category lead, and at 150%, that's really good for a, a unit you can pull on literally any banner, just about. Um, really strong card. Uh, links well, like you said, with a lot of things. Um, so, great unit overall. A really good pick. Let's see, so. Yeah, don't, don't sleep on her. No, not at all. So, so who's next on your list? Um, my final one on my list is going to be the physical EZA trunks. Of course. I gotta throw that trunks on there. Yes, you do. And reason being, um, first off, he hits very hard once you, you EZA him. Um, the leader skill, not too bad. I mean, it's all types keep us through HP attack and defense 70%. So for free to play players or players who don't have a lot of Dokkan Fest exclusives that give those category leads and whatnot. 
Uh, this would be a decent unit to run, so you can at least get some sort of percentage on whatever you know units you want to run with him. Um, so the super attack. He causes supreme damage to enemy and raises allies attack by 30% for one turn, so pretty good right there for as far as a support goes. Um, and then his passive skills where he really starts to shine on the support side of him. He gets key plus 2 and attack and defense plus 30% for all allies. And then he gets attack and defense plus 7% when there are two or more Vegeta's family category allies on the team. And that's not going to be too hard to do because this is the, uh, the Father, Son, Galley Gun card. So more times than not, you're probably going to be running that Vegeta... Father Son Gallic, card, uh, Gallic Gun card with him, so you're going to have one right there, um, and you're probably going to be running him on something like the Vegeta's Family team or something like Future Saga, for the most part, that's what I would generally run him on. Um, he also has other categories like Super Saiyans, Bond of, of Master and Disciple, and uh, Hybrid Saiyans and Time Travelers as well, but I don't think it's going to be too hard to get two more Vegeta's Family category allies on the team with him. So all in all, he he hits hard and he's a very good support. So that's that's why I chose him at the, the last spot there. I agree. It's actually a solid unit, which actually became a lot more powerful with the Extreme Z Awaken. And he actually made a previously considered bad LR that was uh, Physic Physic LR Trunks. With when paired with this unit, makes him really deal really insane damage. And this unit actually made. The LR trunks uh, become more and more used, and people like him more and more. So, yeah, these trunks, along with Vegeta, are solid picks. It was um, it was really hard for me to choose between this one and then the uh, AGL Broly in the four and five slot, but the numbers that that Broly puts up is just ridiculous, and I had to put him in there for that reason. But this one is trunks, so you have it, to. I had to at least have him in there because he's trunks, but other than that, he still is a very good card, uh, aside from my bias and whatnot. <laughs> Alright, so who do you have at your number 5 spot? Well, my last one is actually Goten, the STR Extreme Zero Awakening from the family Kamehameha. Uh, this bad boy can fit in so many categories that he rivals Super Saiyan Blue Evolve Vegeta in that department. I mean, and he actually fits in uh, very strong categories like Kamehame. Uh, siblings bond, Goku family, and the somewhat free to play, uh, uh, free to play uh, category that is uh, Dragon Ball Seekers. Uh, unlike the the previous units mentioned, this one does not have a notable leader skill, but he does have a solid passive that gives him seven, seventeen percent attack and defense, which, with his extreme zero weapon status, allows him to hit hard and tank decently well. Uh, he is also an orb changer, which is actually something I really enjoy on units that are able to hit hard, or at least deal some damage and provide support. And his super attack allows him to raise defense, which actually is very important by today's standards. He does share a name with other uh, Goten units, but I mean, no other unit comes closer to this Goten. He is also a very versatile unit, uh, because, I mean, he fits in a lot of teams, uh, he is also the reason why I managed to clear the Ebert Saiyan's battle road, because this guy here, man, he was awesome. And although he does ex extreme Zero from uh, an event, uh, that event is permanently on global, so if players, if new players, if free-to-play players pull him, they don't have to worry about playing that event on that specific time, because they can also come back to it, uh, clear the event, and make him reach his full potential. He's a very important unit, and uh, people should really uh, get him, either with tickets or if they're lucky to pull him. Yeah, don't ignore this Goten. He is really powerful. Yeah, my, one of my favorite uh, things about him is that he changes his uh, key spheres to Rambos. So um, on any category that he is on, you could run him, and even if you don't get the super attack off with him, he at least is a support where the, where the key sphere gets to go, at least. So that's good. Um, yeah. Definitely a strong unit though. Like, he still does hit really hard, and he like uh, the Go Bros. That's a great unit to run with him. Um, he's a good support for the, for that siblings bond team. It's probably the the one I would put him in the most would be siblings bond. Maybe um, Goku's family. But there's so many Goku's family units that it's hard to choose. You know, just six to run. But uh, definitely would run him in siblings bond. So he's he's a great unit at the number five spot. Yeah. So, now we got our honorable mentions. You just want to go through yours real quick? Mine? Okay, I'll go for my honorable mention. 
for honorable mentions, I have actually two units. The first of one uh, is uh, the STR Fat Boo. The um, I mean, what can I say about him? I mean, I like him a lot, and um, he's mostly uh, usable for people that want to rack up in the World Tournament and did not have a chance to get either LR Broly or the new Physics Super Broly. He deals more damage in Reddit, in my opinion, and he has a decent I mean, decent leader skill that gives uh, STR types uh, plus 3 key and attacking defense 70%. I mean, just don't use them at times 30 difficulty with this leader skill. He has AoE damage, which makes him important for the world tournament, as well as a chance to stun, which is always nice. Um, he also changes orbs, more specifically int key spheres to STR key spheres, which not only helps him, but also helps your STR uh, LR Broly friend or other units you might have, so he is really valuable. He also fits in categories like Full Power, Transformation Boost, and Resurrector Warriors, which have LR Broly or Physics Super, Bro Physic Super Broly, which makes him a uh, very uh, supportive unit for that kind of things. Also, since you change the skill spheres, he also gains an additional buff, 10% to attack and defense for each SDR auto obtained, which eventually you will notice that his damage becomes really insane because I have him at rainbow status and uh, sometimes he changes the orbs and he deals insane damage sometimes even more than the first essay of LR bro and uh, one thing I wish if I can go back to a previous unit is that he has a flat uh, a passive and uh, the extra from the STR orbs which is something I hope that Kefla actually gains like maybe a 30-40% to attack and defense as well as an extra increase to the amount that she gains from collecting uh, orbs. My only complaint is that his link skills are not anywhere good for you to run. I mean, he does have fierce battle, just about it, but he does not give key besides the changing of orbs. For my next uh, honorable mention, I picked a very, for very old and forgotten unit, and that unit is uh, Masked Saiyan. The reason why I picked them is. I mean, I don't care what people think. I, I love this guy to death. I remember when he first showed up in the Super Saiyan 3 Goku banner. I, I really wanted him. I didn't care about Super Saiyan 3. I wanted this guy. I actually got him. And he opened a new... Uh, because I was starting at, uh, during that time. And he opened a new op array of options for me to run my teams. Because at that time, plus 3 key and the attack and defense 50% was very good. Today, not much, but I still like him a lot. And during that time, he was, I think, a new. He still had a flat passive, and um, it actually made him. He was really strong for someone with a flat passive. Nowadays, not so much, but he is. I still think that he deals some very good damage, and I really hope, and I strongly believe, that he has not forgotten it. That he will possibly gain an extreme Z awakening in the future, with maybe a percentage passive, and I can dream, but maybe an 120 percent to all types to all stats in all types maybe i don't know but i really like this unit and uh, one fun fact about him he is i, I mean he's not only the he has a token event that's made only for him and i think nobody else has that oh no i mean tapian also has him but either way at the time it was really interesting seeing a token event just for a unit that was only in the general pool so yeah these are my two honorable mentions that move and masked Saiyan. What do you have to say about each one of them, Thomas? Well, so since we're on the Mass Saiyan right now, I think that this unit will get an easy A, and this will be very soon, actually, in my opinion. And I think that that all types key plus, or probably all types key plus for HP, attack, and defense, one twenty percent. And I, I strongly believe it's going to be that. If that's the case, it's going to really increase uh, the value of this card. Um, and as far as the uh, the strength Fat Boo goes. Um, that card was slept on by me, and then I used him in a real tournament for just a little bit at the end. I have him rainbowed now, and he's really good. Um, but like you said, the only problem with him would be with this, the link skills. But other than that, like if you're just trying to get like super attack for even just for the strength Broly in world tournament, he at least gives the strength uh, key spheres that way, so you at least get super attack off with a Broly or something like that. So both really good units. Um, the Mass Saiyan I think will, will be much better in the future though, for sure. Yeah. Also, he has immense damage already, so it's quite a rare slide. Like I said, only four or five general pool SSRs have immense damage currently. 
All right. So, so what are your honorable mentions? So my honorable mentions, first off, I couldn't leave this Goku Super Saiyan uh, Blue physical Goku off the list since I put the uh, Vegeta up there and they're essentially the same card, just different types and a different leader skill. Um, I had to put him up there because like the, uh, the Vegeta, he gives the uh, a new category, I should say, a 120% uh, leader skill with uh, key plus 3 on, on all stats. Um, he gets physical type key plus 3, HP attack defense 90%, and he's, he's just a really strong unit. He's going to do a ton of damage um, from the get-go, and then even more as time goes on. He's, he'll give you that infinite raising attack and defense on super attacks, and his passive just like the Vegeta is, the attack defense 20% per keys for obtained, and then the additional attack defense 10% if it's his type being physical for this one. Um, they He does have prepared for battle, and uh, what else does he have here? Nothing else as far as key links goes, but he does have like fierce battle, a couple others that increase um, attack by like a small percentage. Um, and he's, as far as I know, as for right now at least, until... Um, Global gets the easy A for the uh, Kaioken Goku, who is actually just a regular Goku of Super Saiyan Blue. Um, he's going to be the be he's the best Super Saiyan uh, Blue Goku that we have on Global. Um, I think he's actually still going to beat out that uh, Kaioken Goku, though. The Kaioken version of him that's, like I said, stated just as Super Saiyan Blue Goku. So, that would be my first honorable mention. Uh, followed by... I didn't put that up. Anyways, followed by, uh, we're going to have the Movie Heroes Gohan. Now, the Movie Heroes Gohan um, is going to be the best uh, support for the Movie Heroes category, being a very good category as it is as well. Um, so he has, let me pull it up here. So he's going to get the Movie Heroes category, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense 120%. So if you don't have the uh, the Gogeta, you can run this unit. Um, he causes supreme damage and lowers enemy attack with the super. And he's going to give, uh, for that passive, he's going to give um, Movie Heroes category, key plus 2, and attack and defense plus 40%. And he's also going to do attack and defense plus 100% when there is a Movie Boss category enemy. So he's going to be really good in going against anything Movie Boss related. Uh, his link skills are not the best as far as key goes. He's going to give you Saiyan Lineage for some key. He's going to give you Golden Warrior for some key. But other than that, he's not going to give you a whole lot of key. Um, he's on several categories, but obviously Movie Heroes being the best. You can also run him on Siblings Bond uh, with uh, pretty good success. And it's also worth noting that you can run his SSR form and his... Uh, TUR form together with um, that way you get more support I should say uh, I wouldn't recommend it really though unless you're you just have a ton of the unit um, I, I wouldn't leave the SSR form at like a 55% and just run that but that will be my number two pick <laughs> anyways so the last one I couldn't I couldn't just leave it at this I had to add one more honorable mention and that last honorable mention is gonna is gonna sting for a mortal since he doesn't have him, but we've got the uh, AGL Final Form Frieza, who's actually really, really good. Um, oh, God. <laughs> so this unit's going to be really good on World Tournament. And the reason being is he he has the attack all on the super. Um, he's also the Planet Nemec Saga like, uh, Demi Leader at 120% with category... Key plus three HP attack and defense hundred twenty percent. He's also AGL tech or AGL type key plus three HP attack and defense ninety percent. And that's not extreme and that or just super. It's all AGL types, so it's pretty good for a mono team as well. Um, he also has a medium chance to seal super attack, which is is, is pretty good as well. And let's see, well, on his passive here, he gets attack and defense plus eighty percent and attack plus seventy percent and high chance of stunning the attacked enemy when facing only one enemy so that's not going to help in world tournament but in other things it will um he also gets key plus five and attack and defense plus 50 percent when facing two or more enemies so that will help during uh world tournament 
Um, he has pretty good links for a Frieza card. A lot of Frieza cards don't have that great of links in my opinion, but he has that shocking speed. Um, he's got big bad bosses. What else does he have here? He's got strongest gun in space, so that'll link with other, you know, Frieza units and whatnot. Um, on categories, he's on the Planet Nemec Saga, he's on Transformation Boost, he's on Wicked Bloodline, and he's on Conquest of Terror. So, he's not on that movie boss's team that's going to be primarily run for uh, World Tournament, but you could still use him with some success. You could run just like a 120 lead, like the Transforming Frieza, and have some success with that. But that is my last uh, honorable mention. So what do you think on that? Well, uh, I'll go by the order that you said them. For example, Goku, uh, I agree. He is an excellent global exclusive, as far as until now, uh, unit. I really like him. He is similar to Vegeta in that aspect. And he also has a new category for people to use. And uh, yeah, he's probably one of the best Super Saiyan Blue, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku's around. Yeah, you I had. Said that he, you said that he could be better than the Kaioken one. Yeah. But the Kaioken one has uh, goes to SA 15, has immense damage, extreme zero can status. That's actually a nice uh, video comparison in the future. For yeah, you it's make. it's really close. But um, the fact that he doesn't lose HP when super attack is, is another thing yeah. that will will add to it. Oh. But I had to put him on there with um, with putting that Vegeta on there. Essentially, they're basically the same card. Just like insert, you know, the different type and whatnot in the different category. 120 lead. They're basically the same unit, so I had to put in there if I put the, yeah. the Vegeta in there. Yeah, I agree. Also, uh, now moving on to Super Saiyan Gohan. Uh, yes, he is a very solid unit. Yes, he deals 100%. Um, uh, he gains 100% attack defense when facing a movie boss uh, enemy. And uh, his uh, uh, support passive, the plus Chucky and attack defense forty percent movie heroes, is uh, very nice. And uh, I actually like this unit a lot. And maybe as far as using the base SSR version and the QR on the different rotations might actually not be a bad idea. Now that I think of it, maybe I'll try it one day. And moving on to AGL Frieza, <laughs> I, I I really feel bad talking about him. Is actually the only SSR I haven't yet managed to pull. I'm hoping for that day. But um, as far as Walter Mitt goes, yes, he, he deals a way more lot damage than Boo. Uh, but I mean, he only shares with, I think, Physic Broly, the transformation boost category. The LR Broly is not on that category. So we just only option is to use Physic Broly. And uh, since he is not in movie bosses, using the LR Broly friend does not provide any links or orb changing. So yeah, that's the problem with this Frieza. He is very good unit, but very limited to use in the world tournament. Yeah, but, it's... Again, I don't have him, so I never test it out. <laughs> so with that being said, that's going to be our top five in our honorable mentions. Um, if you guys think of another unit that we haven't said that you think should be in that top five let us know down below what you think um i actually had a really hard time picking just five as you can see i, I actually picked more honorable mentions than we were originally going to do but I, I couldn't leave any of those units out so i had to go with those three that being said guys i hope you liked the video don't forget get to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so and hit that bell for notifications so you can stay up to date with all my latest content with that being said we will see you guys later later